I love how he says his wiring at the time was pristine. And apparently his eyes may not be working, that he actually has leads in his system that are just dangling around and not connected to anything. I've seen this before. I don't understand the logic. Again, guys, this is far from pristine. Without using the proper double shielded cables, these systems are very, very susceptible to EMI. I've said this so many times. And once again, we just keep seeing the same redundancy. These guys do not understand what they're playing with or they don't care. And realistically, if they don't care, that's fine. Once again, you want to build a contraption for yourself because you're a tinkerer and you're okay with the system sometimes working and sometimes not, that's fine. But don't market it on your channel as what others should or could be using because as soon as you do that, then you start saying, hey, you know what? I know what I'm doing and you guys can get the same results. And they don't know that for sure. So think about that. Would you buy a car if you didn't know if it would drive, yet someone's portraying it will? That's what these guys do. You don't know this guy. You don't know if all this content they're producing is accurate. You just know that he's showing this. And if it worked for him, I'm going to try it. Do you know if the video was edited? Do you know how much editing was done? We don't know when he started filming and when he stopped. Think about what I'm saying. That's the difference between buying peace of mind and buying some half cock contraption by a guy you've never met and who's telling you, hey, you can do this. I've said this in previous videos. I'm going to use a real simple point of logic here. I'm not saying at all that the larger companies, once again, the corporations, Lincoln Electric, Hypotherm, all the companies that sell these in a commercial format, talking about CNC plasma robotics, they do have overhead. They do make a large profit. There's no denying that. I've said that before. But there is a reasonable amount that one should expect to pay for a stable production robot in any genre. That means plasma, mill, router. When you start getting into these dollar amounts, the only way you could ever come close to that and it would actually be legit is if you have all the equipment, you have all the knowledge, all the proper cabling and all of that knowledge once again driven around not just the mechanics of the table but also understanding how to do the grounding and everything else that is required to get that chassis stable.